Hey everybody, we are gonna make some gnomes. So the first one I'm gonna show you, I actually followed another tutorial and kind of made it my own. And I'll be honest, it's not my favorite. I like the second one better, but I'll kind of explain as we go. So I have the shelf in my basement that wasn't being used. So we cut it in half and half of it um, will be our first gnome. So I'm painting it red, as you can see here. And then I'm going to take some screen splash toppers just from the Dollar Tree and some E6000. And we are going to glue that right on the top of the board. You kind of want to line the knob up just right underneath the edge of the board. And then I took my dry duck spackle. And as you can see here, I kind of made a beard out of it. Um, reason why I'm not too crazy about this one is because it took forever to dry. I think it took like three days to dry. Um, and secondly, um, I just, I used the wrong screen topper for it. I should have used the one with the handle. The tutorial I followed didn't. So I actually had to use popsicle sticks to kind of make a peak for the hat. Um, but anyway, after it dried, I got this scarf from the Dollar Tree as well. So I'm just kind of wrapping it around as his hat. This still turned out cute, you guys, but this version, the one I kind of um, followed from another tutorial, like I said, I just, it definitely is not my favorite out of the two, but you may like it and you may want to make it. So uh, these trays I got at the Dollar Tree as well. That one I spray painted white and let it dry. And then uh, in the tray, then I went over it with just some black chalk paint. And now I have my stamps. So I'm going over the stamps with white and we're gonna spell out hello. And we're just gonna stamp or place those stamps right down in the middle of the tray. Cute, hello. And then I sealed it with poly acrylic and then I glued it to the gnome. Um, now here's the second one. So this one I kind of just took my own imagination and kind of went with it. Still using a splatter screen. This one has the handle though. And then I got two mops from the Dollar Tree, just mop heads. And I cut all of those little strings off. So basically I'm making a beard out of these little mop strings. So I kind of outlined as I went with the hot glue um, as far as how I wanted the beard to look. And then after I glued them down, as you can see here, I'm kind of lifting them up in groups and putting a little more hot glue on, like down a little bit further just to keep those in place. Otherwise, they were kind of moving and you could see the bottom of the splatter shield and we didn't want that. And I did end up having to cut apart um, one full mop head and then maybe like a fourth of the strands from a second. And here I'm doing a second layer. So this layer I'm actually going up a little higher than the first layer of strands I did. So once that was done, I took a jar lid, just like a small mason jar lid, and I hot glued that down kind of right above the beard line. Um, so that made his nose, and right now I'm painting that. And then I'm also painting kind of around it. I should have painted the board before I glued the splatter screen on as far as like up by his face, but originally I thought I was gonna cover it all with those mop strands, and I ended up not doing that. So that's why I had to paint everything around that area. And now I'm just taking a total of eight strands. I did four on each side just to make his moustache. Mustache, but moustache. <laughs> and then for his tray, uh, his tray I just left gold. I kind of painted it over with some black and red. Sealed it with poly acrylic, went over it with some white chalk paint, and kind of wiped that white chalk paint back before it dried. And it looked like that. So I did decide that I wanted the word hello to be in red. Uh, so I did that. And then, as you'll see here, 
in a second, it, uh, it didn't really pop. It didn't really stand out. So I'm going to go back over it with white, with hello and white, but I'm going to kind of put it off to the side a little of the red. So you'll still be able to see a little of the red, but more of that white. So it'll stand out a little more. The red was just too dark. And no, I'm not talking to myself. I was talking to my son. <laughs> there we go. Much better. And then I did add some Spanish moss to the corners and some little berries. And then same thing. Used a scarf for his hat and wrapped it around. Um, so he turned out pretty cute. And then I just added a couple of pine cones and some berries to the corner of his hat as well. These are definitely for indoor, you guys. Um, I wouldn't recommend putting them outside unless you're going to coat them in a polyurethane. Um, and obviously, you know, kind of weatherproof it a little more. I don't know how that spackle would hold up in the rain or the snow. And then obviously the mop head would get really wet. So um, these are more for indoor, indoor use. But I don't know. I think they turned out kind of cute. But great gift idea or something you can just make for your home. But yeah, that's what I got. Have a good night.